During my home quarantine, I had only considered two types of cooking, fuss saver or fuss loader, depending on how crazy the homebound hours drive you. This cauliflower soup has only three main ingredients, plus the most basic seasonings in everyone's pantry. It is definitely a fuss saver, but boy, don't get me wrong, the taste is phenomenal. Let's talk about the ingredients. You will need a loose cauliflower, as the Chinese would call it, because it looks like a loose type of regular cauliflower. But I'll call it pine cauliflower for now, since Google translation said so. You can use a regular cauliflower, but this type contains higher vitamin C, tastes slightly sweeter and easier to prepare and cook. A piece of purple onion, one can of carnation or evaporated milk, the one I have is 410 grams or 14.5 ounces. You can use milk by reducing double the amount to half. Then the seasonings, salt and a white pepper, butter, and well, some missing oil, that's it. The pine cauliflower has longer stalks than the regular one, although they're flavorful and usually cooked together with the curd, which is white part. I'm only going to use the tip part for the soup. Now, this is another advantage of using pine cauliflower, as trimming off the tip is quite easy, even for starters. You can even use your hand to pluck off some of the floret. Usually, for a 500 grams or 18 ounces of cauliflower, you will get about 230 grams or 8 ounces of floret. The remaining trunk, don't throw it away, as the stalks are still edible. You can still make whatever dishes you usually make with the holes in cauliflower. Regarding the purple onion, cut it into about half centimeter or half an inch thick slices. Let's start cooking right away. Heat the oil in a saucepan, add the onion, and slightly sweat it. Then dumping all the cauliflower, Stir the mix. Keep stirring till all the onion starts to caramelize and the cauliflower starts to become soft. Then dumping all the evaporated milk. Scrape the pan, making sure to get all the flavor of the fond that is stuck at the bottom. Stir once in a while to prevent the bottom from burning and serves from forming a film. Simmer for about 20 minutes, another 10 if using regular type. According to science, 30 minutes is a minimum requirement of time to make a regular cauliflower taste good. But I find 15 to 20 minutes is enough for pine cauliflower. Use a stick blender to mix everything together. You can also use a blender or food processor. When it becomes homogenous, add the cold butter and blend again. The soup will become very creamy. I prefer to season at the end, so it's time to add the salt and white pepper. Mix thoroughly and the soup is done. This recipe serves too. Oh, and some extra in the saucepan for someone to look clean. Sprinkle some cayenne pepper if you like. The top will form a layer of skin because of dairy, so mix well before eating. I used to just use milk to make the soup, but I find the evaporated milk tastes even better as it elevates the whole profile. It's creamy, nutty, and maybe I'm delusional, but a hint of meaty taste has never failed me. You can imagine with just a few ingredients and an entry-level cooking technique, you can get such an amazing result.